Welcome back everyone. Perspective in photography is the spatial relationship between objects in a two-dimensional image. It provides a sense of depth and dimensions the viewer perceives. Affinity Photo's powerful perspective tool helps you work with perspective in your editing. For example, you can add graffiti to this wall so it looks natural. Or you can paint words on a street in Rome that trail off into the distance. Let me start with an example where the perspective is easy to see. You can see this hallway-like image with lines starting from all around the sides and leading to a single point off in the distance. I'll use the arrow-shaped move tool in the left-hand toolbar to move the word perspective so that it lines up with a vertical line here on the left. Then, I'll click on the grid-shaped perspective tool on the left toolbar. You see the nodes on the text selection turn from little circles to little squares at the corners. Watch as I click and drag the corner nodes so that the word lines up with the grid along the wall here. Affinity adjusts the size of the text so that it follows the perspective of the wall. Once you have it where you want it, click Apply to bake in the changes. OK, I'll delete that and give another example. Let's say you want to hang a picture on the wall. To do that, I'll go to File and then place in the menu. I'll select this file of a piece of artwork that I found on pixabay.com and I'll use the cursor to drag it out onto my canvas. Then. I'll use the Move tool to move the picture and line it up with the vertical grid lines on the right side of the, of the image. I'll click on the Perspective tool again and I'll drag the little corner nodes so that the image follows the perspective lines on the wall. You can see right away how, even though the image has become very distorted, it looks natural to our eyes. All right. Let's try this in a real-life photo of a Venice alleyway that I got on pixabay.com. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to follow along. Let's say you want to put some street art on the wall to the left. I'll go to File in the menu and then Place. I'll select the file I want and then use my cursor to drag it out onto my canvas. Most street art doesn't have straight edges, so I'm going to fix that first. With the Art layer selected, I'll click on the Layer Mask button at the bottom of the Layers panel to add a mask. I'll select the Paintbrush tool from the left-hand toolbar and make sure that my brush color is set to black. Then, I'll go to the Brushes panel to the right of the Layers panel and I'll choose the Basic category and pick a soft round brush. Then, I'll just paint away the edges a bit to soften the lines. OK, now there are no grid lines in this image, but you can still see the perspective. The right side of the doorframe gives a vertical reference, and the top of the doorframe and the edge of the yellow paint above the unfinished wall serve as the horizontal references. I'll just click on the grid-shaped perspective tool and then line the nodes up with those references as best I can. There, that looks pretty good. If you want, you can lower the opacity a bit to help blend this in by letting some of the yellow paint tone show through. All right, one more example, and I think you'll have this mastered. I'll switch to a scene from Italy. There's a link to this image in the description as well. This street is going uphill, leading to that building in the distance. Let's say you want to paint the words Via Italia across the whole street. Well. The sidewalk and the lines on both sides of the street offer pretty good references to the perspective. So we'll just click on the perspective tool and stretch the bottom corner nodes out to the sides. Then we'll grab the top nodes and move them inwards a bit so that everything lines up with the reference points. Now, if you want to blend this in a bit, 
you can lower the opacity down some, and then you can go to the blend modes at the top of the layers panel and scroll down until you find one that looks good. In this case, overlay really looks great. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.